Hey there everybody, it's the guy in the bow tie here coming back to you with another piano tutorial today. This one is going to be uh, just an intro piano tutorial, not, not anything big. And uh, if you guys want to subscribe and everything, if you haven't already, for the people that watched the Faithfully introduction, not really an introduction, the Faithfully video on how to play a Faithfully Light Journey, I'm posting a professional way to play it. Um, I'm not going to put a link down below yet because I don't, I don't have it yet. I might. If you see one, just forget what I just said. Anyway, I'll be posting a lot more videos lately, and uh, thanks everybody for watching. I just, I don't know how I got so many views, and it's not really that much views, but it's a lot of views for me. And uh, every view counts, guys, so just tell your friends and click the like button and whatever. Just, anyway, back to the song. The song, yeah, is Dark Blue by Jack's Mannequin. It's the intro, and it plays throughout the song, but you can't hear it after a certain part, really. It does something different, and I don't know that part yet, and I don't think I'll ever learn it just because I don't think I'll ever need to play this song live on stage. But this is the way to play Jack's Mannequin's intro to Dark Blue. Uh, let me get my hand set up here. It's just a fun riff to learn on the piano. I think it's a just a great thing for beginners, maybe. Um, I can't really step this one down like I did with Faithfully. I can't, like, make it easier or anything. But, um, I'll, I'll give it to you slowly and hopefully you'll be able to understand it. Please rewatch the video if you don't and you really want to learn. Um, so, yeah, other than that, let's uh, go to the right hand and I'll show you what to do. Okay, everybody. Okay, everybody, here's the right hand for the intro to Jack's Mannequin song, uh, Dark Blue. Right now we are officially at middle C, we'll be using it when we play the song. And that actually brings me to the only four notes you'll be needing to play it for. Uh, we'll need to play D sharp, D itself, C, and A sharp. Hang on, just on my screen, got it. Uh, that's not the right order, um, but the beat is um, one two one two. It's a uh, one two one two one two one two one two. Ah, uh, sorry. One two 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 one two. Or like a one two one two three. I don't know. It's just a. It's a repetitive beat that just goes. So with each note, you'll play these three. This note will always be played, but you'll switch between these three. So first it'll go these two right here. Uh, the A sharp and the D sharp together, like uh, this. Like that. That's pretty much the beat for it, if you, if you can learn by watching really quickly. So it starts off, the beat is just this. This one, well, one of these three. We'll start off with this one. The uh, D sharp, A sharp, D sharp, A sharp, D, A sharp, D, A sharp, C, A sharp, C, A sharp. Just like that. And then, then it goes back to D, A sharp, D, A sharp. So all together. And you play that four consecutive times, that, that whole run through, the... Like that. That's just that. If you guys couldn't catch any of that, please leave a comment down below. If I'm going too fast, I really want to hear your opinions. And uh, also, rewatch the video, it really will help. And uh, we're going to move down to the left hand now. Okay, guys, here's the left hand for the song Jack's Mannequin, uh, so for the song Dark Blue by Jack's Mannequin. And uh, right here is uh, middle C. This is where we were on the right hand, and we only move one whole octave down. Actually, B. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, the first bass note for the song, as we'll call them, is actually using the same first note over on the right hand, the D sharp. So all here on get on scale. Pretty much you. You 
you can play with one hand, but it, you don't. You don't. Anyway, so it's a D sharp, and you just go and hold it until you're done playing the full thing I said over there, the whole four um, four pattern thing. You go from D sharp, then you go to an A sharp. You play that over there too. Then to a C. Also play that. And then, oddly enough, you go to a G sharp, and that's almost, that is literally almost the end of the piano. But, uh, so it goes D sharp, A sharp, C, G sharp. And, uh, that's, that's what you do to play the song Dark Blue by Jack's Mannequin. I'll give you a sky view to show you what it is. Sorry if I rushed through, by the way, sorry if I rushed through this video. I tried to cut it short so you guys could just learn it really quick, because it's not a very, uh, hard thing to learn. But uh, that's all you do, and I will try to give you somewhat of a sky view so you can see what uh, what it is all put together. Okay, guy. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I couldn't find a sky view, but I can um, show you guys how to play it slowly. Um, I'll, I'll tell you where all the notes change and everything. First, right hand. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Obviously, it always switches between. You keep the thing right here, but I'll tell you the notes that it's switching from when you're playing, and I'll also tell you the bass notes that um, it switches to while they're switching. So it's uh, I'll do the right hand first. D sharp, D sharp. notes are just E sharp, A sharp, C, G. That's all you need to know. Um, sorry this video was actually really short. Um, if you didn't catch it all, tell me in the comments below. I will maybe repost it. And uh, yeah, I know the background, it all got darker. I filmed the, the video in two different times of the day today. Anyway, um, yeah, this one you should check out. You should check out the Harder Way to Play Faithfully by Journey. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, I'll have that one up soon. I am doing one on, I think, I'll try to do one maybe on Reliant K's Deathbed. But before I do any more, I, I already have Faithfully made and I already have Bohemian Rhapsody made. Before I do any more, uh, if you guys want to learn a song, like, if you have one you really want to learn, uh, you just don't know how, uh, tell me in the comments below and I'll try to do it for you. And as always, subscribe, like, favorite, whatever, and uh, I'll see you next time. This is uh, Isaac Cowdery telling you to stay fresh.